D-ribose, the forgotten sugar. Why am I calling it the forgotten sugar? Because there's not a lot of mainstream stuff out there on D-ribose. But the scientific research and evidence is overwhelming and pretty darn amazing. You see, a lot of it comes back down to that topic that I'm always bringing up, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, that regeneration of energy that we need to move our muscles, to function our organs, function our brain, et cetera, et cetera. But what's interesting about D-ribose is it may be showing the ability to reverse some actual damage to muscles by restoring ATP levels rapidly. Now, a lot of this is being shown in cardiac patients, being shown with cardiac muscle. But I submit to you that we start taking it a step further and looking at how it works in the skeletal muscle system when it comes to fat loss, when it comes to energy, when it comes to recovery from working out. So let's talk a little bit about it. I'm gonna start right out the gate with a study because I need to throw some science at you before I can justify what I'm really talking about. This first study is taking two sets of subjects. One subject is given D-ribose and another set of test subjects are not. And then both sets of subjects were issued some form of artificial ischemia, basically meaning restricted blood flow to the heart, what could ordinarily cause a heart attack. Well, the test subjects that had D-ribose in their system lasted 25% longer before having any kind of irreversible heart muscle damage. Basically what that is telling us is that the ATP was able to regenerate fast enough that the heart was able to beat fast enough, hard enough and efficiently enough to keep it from ultimately dying when there was restricted blood flow, simply because the energy metabolism was able to function. Now that right there is pretty amazing. But then there's one other study that kind of tacks on top of that. It took 20 patients that had coronary artery disease and they gave half of those patients D-ribose and half of those patients they did not. But what was interesting is that these patients that had coronary artery disease that were given D-ribose lasted 25% longer on a treadmill than those that did not. That is pretty amazing as well, essentially telling us that ATP production is there and the recovery is happening instantaneously. Now, if you haven't started to connect the dots, you can see how this could play a part in your skeletal muscle as well. Just because a lot of the studies are related to cardiac muscle doesn't mean that it doesn't apply to skeletal muscle and to overall well-being and overall health and recovery. So I want you to imagine if ATP regeneration were to happen so much faster all the time. If ATP were to regenerate when you were just cooking in the kitchen, or when you were waking up in the morning, or when you were just walking the dog, or when you were pumping iron at the gym, or when you were just out going for a brisk cardio walk. Imagine if ATP was regenerating faster and you were able to elicit more of an energetic response. You could change your life. You really could just by making sure energy production is there. Now, I hate to throw another study at you, but again, since the mainstream evidence isn't really out there, I have to reference these clinical studies. But this one is a little bit more interesting because it's referencing more on the performance side in the way of skeletal muscle, which might apply more to you watching this video. So this 2004 study took two groups of high performance cyclists. They had these cyclists ride their bikes aggressively for about a week. So a cumulative buildup of high intensity exercise for about a week. Then one group was given D-ribose for three days and another group was not. Well, what was interesting, the group that had D-ribose had an absolute full recovery of adenosine triphosphate. They had full energy recovery, whereas the other group was still completely depleted and had not recovered yet. Proving that D-ribose does play a big part in overall muscle recovery as well. But this doesn't just play a part with performance, everybody. Like really, we have to look at a lot of these illnesses. We have to look at chronic fatigue syndrome. We've got to look at things like fibromyalgia, where people are always in pain or always fatigued. You always feel like they're not recovering, you're always a little bit sore and in pain. Or we have to look at even autoimmune diseases like Lyme disease, like lupus, even like Hashimoto where our bodies are attacking ourselves. Well, if we have the energy to recover, then I submit to you that we may be able to feel better. Now, I'm not saying any of those conditions can be reversed, but if we have the energy production, then it means that we can recover and we may not feel the effects of chronic fatigue. We may not feel the brain fog. We may not feel the lactic acid buildup. We may not feel that joint pain. Again, it's all speculative, but it all comes down to mitochondrial health, focusing on what you learned in biology class, your sophomore year of high school that you probably forgot two days after you left the classroom, but seeing how it really plays a part when it comes to feeling your best and getting the most out of your body. Okay, now the question a lot of you are wondering is how much do you take? How do you do this? What do you take? 
Well, I'm not a doctor, so I can't prescribe a specific amount, even though it's just an over-the-counter supplement. But what I can say is what I've seen it's a simple five gram dose for a regular person that's just looking for a little boost in energy is all it takes. Take it in the morning, take it at night, whatever you please. But if you're looking for a little bit more, maybe you're suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome, you're trying to really get a boost. You know you're sleeping well, but you need to get more. Well then you may wanna look at taking like five grams three times per day evenly. Really support that mitochondria, let it do its job so that it can metabolize sugar, so it can metabolize fat, so you can stay lean, stay fresh, and be on the top of your game. If you have any questions or any ideas on videos that you want me to do, please, please, please post them in the comment section. That's what I look for. I'm always looking for good ideas. I'm always looking for ways to help you out. So as always, keep it locked in here on my videos. Stay tuned on my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.